A great way to skyrocket your Facebook followers and increase your sales at the same time is by adding your Facebook posts onto your WordPress website. The problem is adding your posts manually can get confusing and it's not easy to customize. That's why in this video, I'll show you the best way to add Facebook posts onto your WordPress website. To add your Facebook posts onto your WordPress website, you can use the Smash Balloon Facebook Feed Pro plugin. The plugin allows you to embed your Facebook posts, albums, videos, and more onto your WordPress website in fast and responsive feeds like this. You can purchase the plugin from smashballoon.com, and once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin. Download Facebook Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. And inside your WordPress dashboard, hover over plugins on the left hand side and click on Add New. Then go and click on Upload Plugin at the top and upload the zip file for Facebook Feed Pro just like this. And click on Install Now. Next, click on Activate Plugin. And there we go, Facebook Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. Now, on the left hand side, you'll notice Facebook Feed. Hover over it like this and click on Settings. Here, we can enter the license key for the plugin. Go ahead and paste the license key for Facebook Feed Pro like this and click on Activate. And there we go, Facebook Feed Pro has now been activated. And we can begin creating a feed of our Facebook post. On the left hand side, once again, under Facebook Feed, click on All Feeds. To get started, click on Add New. As you can see here with Facebook Feed Pro, you can create several different feed types. You can create a feed of your Facebook timeline. You can create a feed of your Facebook photos, your Facebook videos, albums, events, and more below as well. For this video, since we're embedding our Facebook posts, let's go and select the timeline option, which is already selected for us, and click on Next. Now we'll have to add the source for our Facebook feed. Click on Add New. And on this step, make sure Facebook page is selected here. Then click on Connect to Facebook. This will take you into Facebook and here you'll have to select the Facebook page you want to display on your feed. You can select it like this and click on Next. And here it's just asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook account. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes or post on your behalf. That's completely safe. You can leave these as default and click on Done. And then click on OK. You should now see your Facebook pages inside the plugin. You can select the page you want to display like this and click on Add. Then select it as a source like this and click on Next. And for our final step, Facebook Feed Pro gives us several different templates for the appearance of our Facebook feed. You have options like the default, simple masonry, widget, and more below. For this example, let's go with the simple masonry and click on Next. And almost instantly, we have a brand new preview of a feed of our Facebook posts. You can see all the latest posts from the Smash Balloon Facebook page inside this feed in that simple masonry template we selected. This feed is now ready to be embedded on our WordPress website, but before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize it. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Here, you'll find options to modify the layout of your feed. Currently, you can see that we have the masonry layout we selected, which shows all of our posts in rows and columns like this in their original sizes. Otherwise, you can go with the list layout, which displays all of our posts in a single column list like this. And lastly, we also have the carousel layout, which displays all of your posts in a swipeable carousel like this. Proceeding with the masonry layout, if you look down below, you can also specify how many posts you want to display on your feed. Apparently it's displaying 9 posts, but if you want to change it, you can just simply type it in like this, and that change will be made automatically inside your live preview on the right hand side. And below that, you can also choose how many columns you want to display as well. Once you're happy with the layout of your feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your Facebook feed, go into color scheme on the left hand side. As you can see currently, it's inheriting all of the colors from your WordPress theme. This means that our Facebook feed is automatically set to match the design of your WordPress website. Alternatively, you can go with the light theme like this, a dark theme, or even a custom theme where you can select the exact colors you want for your Facebook feed like this. And if you made any changes to your color palette, make sure to go and click on save on the top right corner. And if you wanted to moderate which posts you wanted to display on your Facebook feed, you can do that as well. Go into the settings tab and click on filters. Here you have options to filter what Facebook posts you want to display on your feed. The first option lets you choose whether you want to display posts only by the page owner, page owner and visitors, or only by visitors. Next, if you look below, you can also show all the posts on your Facebook page or only specific posts. And just below that, you can also specify keywords so you can show or hide specific posts that contain that keyword. And lastly below, you can also add filters to only show posts between a certain date range. And if you add any filters, make sure to hit save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to customize and moderate your feed, let's go and embed it onto our WordPress website. Go ahead and click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, and click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click on Add. And now inside our page, you have two different options to embed your Facebook feed. You can either use a shortcode block like this and paste the shortcode you copied. Alternatively, you can use our custom Facebook feed block for block editor like this. And instantly, you can see our new Facebook feed inside our web page. And now we can go ahead and publish this and check out what it looks like on the front end. 
here we are on our live web page and as you can see we have our brand new Facebook feed containing all the latest Facebook posts from the Smash Balloon Facebook page. And if you look down below it's in that masonry lab we selected and if you wanted to go and engage with any of these Facebook posts you can do it directly from this feed. For example if you go and click on this box here it will drop down with some of the comments for that post and it will give you the option to go and comment on Facebook or view on Facebook as well. And if you wanted to embed your Facebook post inside the footer or sidebar of your website you can do that as well. Let me show you. Back inside the plugin, I've just changed the template to the widget template instead, and now we can go and click on embed. Next, we can copy the shortcode just like before, and instead of clicking on add to a page, you can click on add to a widget. And this will take you into the WordPress widgets menu, and in this example, let's go and add our Facebook post to the main sidebar. To do this, we have the same two options as before. We can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode we copied, or we can use our dedicated custom Facebook feed block like this. And instantly, we have a live preview of our Facebook feed right here inside the widget. So we can go and click on update and check out what it looks like on the front end of our website. And back on our live web page, right in the middle, you can see that Facebook feed we created earlier in the masonry layout. But on the right hand side, you'll also notice we have a sidebar with our Facebook post featured inside as well. So we've successfully added our Facebook post both onto our main web page and onto the sidebar as a widget as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.